Welcome back to Shop Talk. My name is Sean Komen, and I'm the lead boat building instructor here at the Northwest School of Wooden Boat Building. As the new cohort of students begins to settle in, the culture and community of this class has become evident. Through barbecues and even the random chicken dance, it's clear that this class is here to build boats and have loads of fun while doing it. The change in season brings the finishing touches on the students' beginning projects. After completing their first drafting, the students are now using that drafting to build their first half model. They're also finishing off their dovetailed toolboxes, a project that has been in the boat school curriculum for the past 42 years. Drawing on their new knowledge in layout and design and challenging their hand tool and power tool use, these boxes clearly illustrate all of the hands-on learning that's been absorbed over the past few months. There's even room for some fancy marlin spike work on the handles. And with their beginning projects complete, the shops are cleared to make way for lofting. The entire team works to clean up the floors and lay a fresh layer of door skin on which the loftings will be developed. Over the course of the next two weeks, the students will work in teams of two to fare out and develop the complex hull shapes of the 16. The boat the students will loft is the exact hull that they just drafted, so an understanding of the process has already been in practice, and now it has to be drawn full size. An accurate lofting requires an accurate grid on which to draw it, and precision is evident even in the beginning, as students take their time to strike baselines and create true accurate grids on which they'll be able to plot their table of offsets. Lofting offers the students an immense challenge at understanding how lines fared in a two-dimensional lofting actually represent the subtle curves of a three-dimensional boat. It should be said that lofting is not for everyone, but personally it is one of my favorite parts of the boat building process. And even as the boat building students are busy lofting, one of our Prothero interns, Jeff, is hard at work installing the systems on the Trollic project. With the engine installed and fuel system complete, Jeff is now focusing on the exhaust system and preparing to install through hulls into the boat. Down on the waterfront campus, our other Prothero intern, Pearl, continues her progress on the Nordic Folk Boat. This almost 26-foot sailboat has the details similar to that of a 36-foot vessel. And here you can see the finishing touches on the cockpit sole, cockpit drawers, and hardware are all coming together. This traditional lapstick design will include a modern propulsion system, and more specifically, an electric pod drive that is being installed as the interior comes together. And this brings us to our marine systems class. The students have just completed their first electrical board called Board Zero. That knowledge is then used to install and wire a basic system as seen here in the Polsbo boat. But not only are the components installed and wired correctly, they are also monitored and tested to ensure there are no faulty connections. Their next unit will be marine plumbing, and here you can see instructor Tyler Johnson preparing the mock-ups and components that will be used to teach this hands-on portion of the curriculum. While Tyler prepares the next unit, a few of the marine system students have moved on from their board zero to installing electrical components into the hull mock-ups. This allows the students the chance to install actual electrical components in real life boat shapes. It's one thing to install these items on flat, upright panels, and it's an entirely different process to install these components working through the actual shapes of a boat. Thanks for tuning in to Shop Talk. We'll see you next time.